Hello, welcome to Basketball Talk Pro. My name is Ron Ecker, and today we're continuing our uh, quest for uh, the important qualities, uh, personal qualities, of a coach. And uh, this is number three, uh, and this, and as you saw on the list, uh, we are, you know, we just use one, one word for each quality, and this quality is independence. Independence means, for most people, uh, doing things without any uh, restriction, uh, freedom. But there's a hidden, subtle enemy to independence and to uh, the freedom that goes with uh, independence. And that enemy is what others say, what others think, and what others do. We have a tremendous fear of those three uh, elements. It robs us of independence because our fear keeps us from doing the things that we want to do because we don't know what people will say. We don't know what others will do. And of all things, what others might think. We don't know what others are thinking. We, we have no way of knowing. We don't know what they're going to do. We don't know what they're going to say. But we're afraid of that. It's a debilitating fear. If you can get rid of those <coughs> enemies, of independence and freedom, you will be liberated. What a wonderful feeling that is. Complete freedom. 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 Liberated from all those fearful dangers that in creep into our life. In coaching, that fear can paralyze you because coaching is such an open, open thing. Everybody watching, everybody criticizing, everybody with an opinion. Basketball is a simple sport. It's not as simple as people and the media think. But because of the simplicity, Everybody thinks they know what to do, how to do it. So you're constantly uh, just engulfed uh, in some type of crit criticism or another. So it's very easy to be fearful of that. And that fear paralyzes you. That fear keeps you from doing things that you would like to do or what you have an idea to do, but you don't dare try it. Not because of failure, but because of the recourse of what people say, think, and do. We're so open to that, to the negativity uh, that goes with, um, goes with our, our profession. But we have to overcome that. We have to do our job every day. We have to keep on with it, regardless of what other people are saying or thinking or doing. Once we can rid ourselves of that, then we have independence. And it allows us 
to be creative. It allows us uh, to do things uh, even though they may be completely different than what other people are doing and even what is accepted. It is my belief that eccentricity uh, is, is, a, is a form of greatness. When you look at uh, some of the great people and what they have done, they don't follow, they don't follow the, the mode. They go out on their own. They have the courage uh, to gamble everything. Uh, they're not afraid of losing their, pre their, uh, their position, not afraid of even losing their reputation. They're more uh, involved in what uh, is right and what is good and what is what they uh, want to do. This is freedom. Independence is a major, major factor uh, for a coach. Uh, you have to you have to be your own person. It's the only way. It's, it's a frightening way, but it's the only way. I know that uh, it has to have happened to you. It happens to most people. You have an idea, and you really like the idea, and you think it'll work. Uh, but you're afraid to try it. You, you just think people will laugh at you, ridicule you. So you give it up. And then a little ways down the road, somebody else does it. And they succeed with it. Uh, don't let that happen to you. Be your own person. Don't be afraid of what other people say, think, or do. Because you really don't know what they're going to say, what they're going to do. Or what they're thinking. Uh, so don't don't be afraid of that shadow, that ghost, uh, because it may not even be what you think. Independence. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.